Hello everybody and welcome back to Bell's channel and obviously welcome back to Bell's Red Dead Redemption 2 walkthrough. Now today we are going to be doing two things. We, um, we're just back in town really after the incident with robbing the St. Denis Bank um, and drifting to Guam I believe it's called. Um, and obviously now we're back and I haven't, we haven't moved camp yet, but we will. And, um, so look, there's our camp at Lake A. In settlement in the swamps of Bayou Noir, Le Moyne, often used by gangs as a hideout. Oh, that's cool. Um, locals believe that the place is cursed and are terrified to step foot in it. So, yeah, but we haven't moved from there yet. I believe that's what this quest is, because when you're talking to the people there, they're just constantly saying about we need to move camp. Um, but anyway, we're going to be doing the quest with Sadie Adler. I think it's to rescue John. It's called Acarus and Friends, and we'll also be checking the post box because we appear to have got a letter. So let's do that first. See you again, sir. Okay, so it's a letter from Mayor's office arrived nine days ago, but when I checked this through the day ago, it did say seven days ago. So we'll look. So let's inspect the document. There's a letter from the Mayor's office, June 1899, from the office of John Mayor. <gasps> Monsieur, Mayor of St. Denis. <gasps> Dear Mr. Kilgore, these are troubling times at City Hall. With the resignation of Mayor Lumiere, civic business continues. The new mayor has asked that you formally comprehend, oh, that you be formally commended for your recent services to the city of St. Denis. Please like accept this token of gratitude of the city of Missouri, along with a personal message from the mayor. This scandal will pass and we will be much stronger than ever. Yours respectfully, the office of Mayor of Denise. Flip, maybe? Is there anything on the back? Yeah. Who do I? I don't, I don't see any gratitude. I would expect like a £100 reward or something. Please accept this to token of the gratitude. Of the city of Missouri, along with a personal message from the citizen. I didn't see. I didn't see any money in the yard. Anyway, and now we're going to go to Sadie Adler. All right. Um. Now I'll quickly read that because I don't think I've read it properly. Uh. So it says, a carus and friends. Sadie asks you to meet her at Doyle's Tavern to work out how to rescue John. So this is here. All right, let's go there. Where is he jogging me? Mister, are you okay? Mister, are you okay? Are you 
you okay, mister? Take me to a freaking doctor. Mister, you, you don't look so good. Let's get you to a doctor. Oh, good. Good Samaritan. Come on, it's not far. Just down the street here. Okay, yeah, he's taking me. <coughs> All right, yeah, he's taking me. To the <coughs> Give me a minute. Give me a minute. <laughs> oh, I'll shit. be fine in a minute. There. I'm fine. <sighs> Nearly there, just around this corner. Now you head in there, friend. Go on. in the road. Can I help you? Oh, I, I need a doctor. Oh, uh, just one second, sir. Come in, pal. Come in. <coughs> Mister, I need some help. And so it seems. <coughs> And that's Dr. Mister to you. I'm sorry. Uh, I was joking. Look, friend, I don't mean nothing, but you got money? I mean, before I start treating you, because I got a family. Yeah, I understand. Here, that did. Uh, sure. Thank you. Now, okay. what's wrong? I mean, what appear to be the symptoms? Well, I think you've heard them. I'm coughing. Uh, is there any blood? Sometimes. Uh, Okay, now here. Breathe. Again. Yeah. Let me see your tongue. Now say ah. Ah. What is it? It's not good news. Well, I guess that. You got tuberculosis. <gasps> really sorry for you, son. It's a hell of a thing. Oh, what do you mean? You're real sick. You... It's a progressive disease. And you'll be... Now, the best thing is rest. And getting somewhere warm and dry and taking it easy. Now, is that possible? Sure. I can just take my winters in my country club in California. No. <coughs> it's not possible. Won't smoke for the next one. Like I said, I, I'm real sorry. Yeah, well. Now, yeah, oh, wait, wait. Uh, let me get you a little bit more energy today. I'm guessing that just pops out of nowhere. I hope. So that's probably why Arthur doesn't appear in the first it in Red Dead Redemption One. Oh my god, Arthur. Oh, I was just there. Basically, saying you got tuberculosis was a death sentence back then. It's like saying you got cancer. We can't change what's done. We can only move on. You have it in you, I can tell. Am I supposed to be walking up the street? I don't even know. Good. 
this is a bit unexpected. I understand if you don't want to help me, but... But... I think of you often. Soon we'll all be dying. Well, she was a fool of you, Arthur. So this quest is called a fork in the road. I sometimes wonder if things was ever the way we remembered them. If we were ever who we thought we was. See, now it's like, what was all that money worth? Can't spend it and you're dead. Now you just gotta try and make sure the rest of his family are safe. I suppose. Oh, it's dear. You are sick. While sick, you will only gain the benefits from consuming a limited amount of food and drink. By the way, when he saw that book, I just looked it up because I was like wondering. It says, depending on the honor of Arthur, he will see a deer plus bulk or a coyote or a wolf depending so he's sick so this actually this sickness has a big impact on his health uh, throughout the rest of the game it says once his mission is completed Arthur will be sick with tuberculosis for the remainder of this playthrough which reduces all of his pores by 20% Eating and drinking more will result in Arthur coughing and having a pocket money of being sick. The only way to re fully refill all cores, if they're fully empty, <clears throat> whilst, while sick, is to rest and sleep. So, and also, depending on your honor rating, high or low, Arthur will be given different quotes in flashbacks, and the color theme will change. As well as the animal that he sees in the end of the mission will be different. So, it'll be silvery grey if he's bad. Oh, if Arthur doesn't have any money on him, the Good Samaritan will give him ten dollars to see the doctor. This is the only mission that isn't marked on the map, and it is triggered when attempting to meet the saddler. So, if you don't want so if you're sick on that beforehand, don't go see Miss Adler. I wonder if she tells him. He tells her. <coughs> Terrace and friends. Any problems coming in? Nah. Guess they know now we ain't in the city. Who, Mr. Milton's friends? Yeah, they've had patrols out ever since you boys disappeared. Well. At least you're alive. For now, yeah. What happened in... Um, Guama? Yeah. <coughs> Nothing nice. What happened to Dutch? Because he seems... I don't know. 
Seems as what began happening in Blackwater began happening years ago, maybe. A slow decline, I guess. What do you mean? I ain't quite sure. What happened here? I started gathering people up as best I could after you boys left. And John, you know that part. I do. And Hosea? So that too. Hell, we got Lenny's body out as well. Bribed the morgue and buried them together. Follow me. So, what's your plan here? Well, I figure before we do anything, we need to make sure John's even still at this prison. And how do we do that? We need to get up high enough to get a proper look at the place. What? It's on an island, ain't it? Unless you're planning on learning how to fly. That's exactly what we're gonna do. I found us a hot air balloon. Oh my god. Now, the pilot, or whatever you call him, he thinks we're just in it for a lesson. A bit of a tour. <laughs> He's quite the character. I think you'll like him. You know, I'm impressed. You really stepped things up, ain't you? Hey, we didn't know if you was even coming back. Whole thing hit folks real hard. You can see it. Heron's gone falling fully into the bottle. Strauss is a bag of nerves. Swanson, well, Swanson's actually gone and cleaned up his act. So I guess it ain't all gone to shit. I'm just happy you boys were able to find us. Oh, she a beauty, ain't she? From here on the ground, yes. Mr. Bullard? Hmm. Mr. Bullard. Ah, uh, Mrs. Adler. It's good to see you. Good to see you. Ah. Uh, this is my friend I told you about, Mr. Morgan. Ah, yes, Arturo Bullard. At your service, sir. At your service. Arthur Morgan. Well, it's a nice, fresh day for flying, sir. A day like today, and Icarus would have made it across the sea. Ha, ha, ha. Have you ever flown before, sir? No. Oh, well, it's quite a thing. Quite a thing. Now, put these on and hop in. Well, ain't she coming? Ah, uh, well. Women can't fly, sir. Are you insane? We can't. Oh, no, sir. It does terrible damage to them, to their vapors. I thought everyone knew about that. Why, a delicate flower like Mrs. Adler? <laughs> Heavens above or below. Ah. Where'd you find this guy? I told you you two would get on. Uh, are you sure about this? Certain, sir. Quite so he's certain. For one. Mrs., let us away. <clears throat> Wish us luck. I've only crashed twice. Now, uh. pull on that rope. And hope for the best! Ah! You boys have fun! How did you get out of this? <laughs> okay! Here goes nothing! Right! Time to catch a few vapors of our own! It's a little overcast, but I'm expecting some good wind once we're high enough. We should still have some decent views over the river. Now, one hates to be coarse, but on the subject of ablutions, liquids over the side, solids, do your utmost to levy the situation until we land. Okay, Mr. Bullard. I had a client once who fell foul to a rotten... on the ascent. A decidedly harrowing experience for all involved. Keep going, sir! We need to get up above the clouds. It really is stunning up there. You'll have seen nothing like it. Spend something made and see if we die. Steady wins the race. All right, then, let's break through these clouds. Oh, my God. Yes, 
Heavenly indeed. Quite remarkable, isn't it? Feels like we have a nice westerly wind, so keep her around this height. This particular vessel is state-of-the-art, sir. Imported from Europe. Won't find more than a couple of these on this side of the pond. So long as it works. You sure you shouldn't be doing this? No, not at all. A child could operate this with a little supervision. Besides, Mrs. Adler told me you were very keen to learn the ropes. We have plenty of those. She did, did she? Maybe ease off the throttle there, sir. student of the Italianate. My brother's called Baldessario, so you could say I got off lightly. Look, I I'm trying to concentrate here. Whoa, there. No need to go any higher. Did you breakfast in the city this morning, Mr. Morgan? Not exactly. Well, I have a boiled egg in my pocket here that you're very welcome to. I think I'm all right, thank you. Recalling the ablutions uh, discussion. Well, just say the word. So, if I may ask, what got you interested in the pursuit of aviation? I didn't, exactly. Mrs. Adler thought she'd surprise me. Ah, a very nice woman. And no shrinking violet. Definitely not. I prefer slightly more feminine attire on a lady, but variety is the very spice of life, as they say. Or is it, though? Did you know they locked up the man who wrote that in a mental asylum? I did not, Mr. Bullard. We're too high, sir. The air isn't moving. Ah, that's better. Look, we can see for miles now. Didn't you hear me? Please reduce the altitude. Now, this is good. Nice airflow here. See that building up ahead on the island? That's the infamous Sisica Penitentiary. Too near to it, though, sir. Sorry, we're going in for a closer look. What do you mean? Mr. Morgan, please, this is most irregular. Well, you want a happy customer, don't you? Look, this isn't funny now. What on earth are you doing? The guards are bound to spot us. Calm down. They won't care if we stay high enough. I'm just looking for a friend of mine. A friend? Poor bastard has a habit of being in the wrong place at the wrong time. I heard they got him working the fields in a chain gang. Dear God. Most unusual. Relax, Mr. Bullard. Take over. You keep us well away. I'll do my best. This filly isn't the easiest to control, you know. No, 
Not there. We look a little suspicious, wouldn't you say? Looks like it. It's hard to tell, though. Yep, that's him. I can see that. Ascent! Ascent! Didn't I tell you this would happen? This is absolutely insane. Oops. <laughs> the wind speed is picking up. We should stay at this altitude. It's heading northwesterly, so that should take us back to land. Dear God, I'm shaking like a leaf. Clear now, Mr. Bullard. You can get up. Good Lord! My heart is pounding! <sighs> I must say, the specifics of this job were not described to me at all sufficiently. Well, it's done now. <sighs> Wonderful experience. Eh? There's Annisburg. Sure. Good Lord, is that... is that Mrs. Adler? Where? Being chased. Huh. <gasps> yes. Try and get us near. Will there be more trouble, sir? I expect so. I'm starting to rather enjoy this. Hey! Say! Up here! Just my feet. Oh, so we have to get above it. Alright, alright, restart, restart.
Arthur. Hold on. You break your neck? I don't think so. Uh, maybe. <coughs> oh, damn it, look. There's more of them on the other side. They must have followed us. Get behind something. This ain't over yet. These goddamn old... left you an hour ago. You can't stay out of trouble for one goddamn hour. You got that poor bastard killed for his troubles. I kind of liked him. They got Comb, the government. They got Comb O'Driscoll. They're gonna hang him in San Denis. Hang him? Okay. Mm -mm. He's already been tried twice for murder and found guilty. Sure, no doubt he'll escape again. No, he won't, because we're gonna make sure of it. I... We have our own problems with the law in case you ain't noticed. Dutch will want to see him swing. Sure, Dutch. He wouldn't even help us with Marston. And our situation is really messed up right now. You know how things is. Bastard's gonna swing. I'm gonna make sure of it. Closely followed by Marston. You saw him? Yes, in the fields. Okay. Then we go rescue him. <coughs> from a state penitentiary? No. But from the fields? Yes. That we can manage. It's well guarded. Guarded, sure, but not behind bars. No, it's not behind bars. So, that's how we'll do it. Bust him from his work detail. I guess. It's best just the two of us go. <coughs> the two of us is all there is, anyhow. 
Good, because two was all we'll need. I'll get us a bunk, a little one, and we'll sneak in and get him out of there. Meet me at Copperhead Landing. Thank you, Arthur. Whatever you say, boss. I heard that. Okay, well, that was Okaris and Friends. Thank you for watching. And join us next where we rescue John Marston from prison. Goodbye.